So I'm here again at Save Point in Westminster, Maryland, and this time I've taken to their DDR machine. Originally started with these acrylic, thin acrylic arrows that they've been breaking, and we had some problems. So what I did is get some quarter inch thick Lexan from McMaster Cars. So these aren't going to be going anywhere. And originally they started clear, but you can see all the little twiddly bits underneath, and it really just doesn't look all that good. So we used some of this uh, Rust-Oleum frosted glass look, which works surprisingly well on acrylic and uh, Lexan, and frosted the one side. So now it's just translucent instead of transparent. Additionally, because the original arrows used CFLs, these things, they really weren't all that bright. They were uh, basically uh, like this. So they kind of glowed. You could see that somebody was clicking, but it just really didn't have that pop. What we decided to do was switch them out for these 10 watt LEDs from Satis LED. These guys, these guys got some kick. So uh, what we did is we just simply swapped them out, soldered some resistors on, used a current control power supply to make sure we chose the right resistor values, and wired them up to the existing system. So these new LEDs have some serious pop. That was the other one. There we go. So as you can see, you can see like the reflection, see like right there, the amount that it's illuminating me versus the uh, the other one, which really, it's just no comparison. This is clearly how the game was meant to be played. Come on.